Here's Mahanawas from segment next with Far Cry 5 Hunting Guide. If you want to unlock all of the perks and get a been there done that trophy while doing so, then keep watching as we talk about the locations, preparations, hunting, and selling the hunting trophies for major cash. Foremost, what you need to know is that hunting isn't quite as important in Far Cry 5, but it's still an important activity if you want to get lots of perks just for completing the many, many hunting challenges in the game. You don't need to find animal skins to craft specific upgrades, rather you'll just need perk points to enhance your carrying capacity. Also hunting a certain amount of skins completes challenges, which in turn rewards you with perks. Before we get to the nitty gritty, know that hunting has two goals. Killing various animal species allows you to complete challenges connected to hunting, which in turn gives you perk points, which lets you unlock new abilities faster. The second goal is to sell skins of dead animals to trades. One important thing, not all animals are connected to the challenges that can reward you with perk points. You can ignore certain species like ducks and partridges, or you can hunt them if you want to get more trophies. Here's a chart showing you which kind of animal gives how many points. You can pause the video to get a better look. Now to begin your hunt, you need to mark down the location of the animal. Certain groups of animals can be found in random locations, but the majority of the animals can be found only in specific areas. Before we dive into those specific areas, here's something to note. If you can't find an animal at the designated hunting spot, just walk around with Boomer a little bit. The animals don't spawn right on the spot, rather the hunting spots mark a possible spawn area. The animals usually spawn in a 200 meter radius around the hunting spot. If you can't find anything at all, travel to the nearest fast travel point. Ideally with the airdrop perks, you can fly back to the hunting spot in a few seconds. Some animals are rare spawns, so be patient and just fast travel to the spot a few times until the animal spawns. Later on in the video, we'll also tell you where to find specific animals for perk points, but in general, you should pay attention to road signs since they can give information about hunting spots. Look for maps on tables in places where your allies are. These maps reveal nearby attractions too. Besides that, select a bait from your inventory and place it somewhere on the ground. Soon, a predator should appear. Make sure to use a bait near locations occupied by enemies, a lured animal will help you kill cultists. Finally, explore the world and you'll come across a hunting spot. To collect reward points, you'll have to hunt specific animals as I mentioned earlier. Starting with John's region, you can find a deer hunting ground near the river, southeast from the Redlow residence. To hunt elk, you'll need to search the trees northwest of Falls End. Turkeys are all over the place, you can find them in the fields of Bradbury Farm or on the northwest corner of Rye and Sons Aviation Airfield. Wild boar is found near a large body of water in the area north of the Redlow Creek map marker. To find the rare bald eagle, look around Rare's Pump pumpkin field or on the hills far south of that farm. Or you can complete Bo's side mission to encounter an eagle's nest. As for cougars, you should drop a bait pretty much anywhere, but if you want to track them, then search the northeast corner of Ferrari's pumpkin farm for cougars. Let's look at Jacob's region now. Here the caribou is found throughout the region. Look for it in the river basin southwest of the Fang Center. If not there, then in the northeast mountains in the same area. To find bison, travel from the road leading to Joseph Seeds Island, travel west and check out the grassland where the Moccasin River meets the lake. You'll have to use bait collected from docile animals to hunt wolf and grizzly bear. Just toss the bait on the ground for wolves and bears. Or check just west of the barren lumber mill for wolves and high on the hill between four Fort Grubman and the Fang Center for Grizzlies. Faith's region is home to moose, skunk, hare, wolverines, blackberry, and pronghorn. Look for a moose hunting group in the hills north of Peaches Taxidermy or south of Drubman Marina. Check the road along the southwest shore of Rock Bass Lake for skunk hunting spot. Travel northwest from the Moonflower Trailer Park to hunt hares. Throw a bait for wolverines in the southwest edge of the region, also for black bears to the south of Hope County Jail, and look for pronghorn hunting grounds in a wooded area between Hope County Jail and Dead Man's River. 
So you got the location locked down and now you need to prep to take down those suckers. To hunt, get a good sniper rifle. It should deal the maximum damage and be equipped with a good scope. A high quality sniper rifle can kill weaker animals with one headshot. Bigger animals may require more shots. Aside from that, crossbow is ideal for range attacks too and one or two shots are enough to kill an animal. Also, you should think about taking a shotgun or a machine gun if you can carry two main weapons in case a dangerous predator gets too close to you. Other weapons will ruin the animal skin and thus make them less worthwhile for you. Finally, to make hunting every animal easier, use Boomer as your fang for hire companion. He will automatically mark nearby enemies that you can hunt. Or if you have two specialist slots, then the best choice is to take Peaches the Lion or the Sniper Grace Armstrong. Then to sell hunting trophies, know that all trophies can be sold. Visit any of the traders and select the option to sell useless loot. Depending on quantity and quality of trophies, you can get from dozens to a few thousands of dollars. And that's it for the Far Cry 5 hunting guide. Let us know if you have any tips and tricks up your sleeves. Don't forget to leave this a like, subscribe to Segment Next and visit SegmentNext.com for more. Until next time.